uh, to build bunkers and stuff. I just think that's kind of awesome that people are so no, self-reliant. Somewhere. But if I were to become that Whatever type of person, Barbara. I would uh, probably lose my mind out of paranoia. Molly. I'm very fascinated, Kelly. though, with the idea of building your own shelter. I think that's very cool. <clears throat> Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Yeah, I get that impression. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. What if all you want is peaches? I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine this. Yeah, actually, though, don't. Yeah, alright. We could all say we saw that coming from about a million six. miles away. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Just a secret person in your basement for 30 years. Oh. You think he would I'm have sure felt the vibration. It's a painting. Very clever visual design in this. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Eating peaches? But if she never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Oh. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. So that's the trash pit over there. Pork chunkies. Mm mm. Grade A pork, Uncle Sam's. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> you must have had a taste for peaches, man. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. Look at the subtle effect of the but letters. Now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Leaving light on the walls. I guess not there. We believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Oh. Well, he probably doesn't want like trains on his memorial, considering he probably didn't like them very much. I don't know if I should even be writing this. This is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Oh, that is a creepy face. But I thought you should know about your family. The history you're a part of. Oh, the individually modeled stones. 
This takes me back to that one level in Unreal Tournament where every stone on all the walls was actually carved out. That's so cool. The moonlight is so pretty on them. You want me to go into the ocean? I don't know why I'm assuming this is an ocean again. It's probably a lake. Such a strange tone to this game. It's honest, almost a I fondness. As lost as you probably do right now. Now turn to melancholy. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Oh. We're getting power? Why are we getting power? <clears throat> Can I light these up? Oh. It just stays while you walk near them. Oh, they're motion-activated solar. Right, 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 right. Oh, the one detail they didn't get. The edges of the steps, they're all the same. You gotta vary those suckers. I'll let it pass. Far too small of a detail to interrupt this visual splendor. of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible oh does the path go to the right now? I didn't know where we were ultimately headed here. I thought it was just leading back in a circle, but yeah, I guess we're going to the right. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. I want to, like, take that What lantern? kind of family finishes nope. building a cemetery before starting the house? Yeah, that's weird. I would, like, not stand on the edges of things if I felt like I was cursed. But maybe I'm the weird it's one. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Oh. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two Aww. had been my fault. Derpy. Hmm. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Oh. Wow, oh, that made me almost tear up just seeing all the, like, the individual stuff on each one of the graves. They're, like, so... They're so personalized. <laughs> I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Hmm. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. I guess we do get to see what that was. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh, it's the old house, right. Edie 
seaside was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. This is so sad in like a totally different angle than I expected it to be sad in. I mean, I went in knowing the general premise. So, like I said, I expected to be sad, but I didn't expect it then. It just changed temperament and atmosphere really well. Just really seamlessly, actually. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, What are you doing? Don't do that. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. Well, there's your confirmation. I think we knew it already, though. Holy hell. Somebody's fleet-footed and brave. Where, where am I going? Oh, there's a ladder over there. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Are those bird houses? Yeah, I think there's bird seed in them. They were both pretty intense. Oh, yeah, we don't know about Edith. Edith, maybe she was Sam actually an acrobat. Shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Yeah, maybe this family was just not afraid of anything, and that was their downfall. <laughs> They're a little too bold. I couldn't look at that every day. It's not right. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Yeah, it's another approach, I suppose. That's a really creepy picture. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to oh. last a lifetime. Mm hmm? What? Perfect. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Well, this is an interesting way to go about doing this. So I have to take the photos of the things that make sense. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff. If you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. Oh, I saw that episode of Orange is the New Black. Some guy who died. <clears throat> I'm being serious. No, Dad. 
You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Yeah, actually, that's a thing nobody ever mentions. Being in nature does just make you want to chill out. I kind of can't imagine Last time I was with getting all worked problem. up and shooting at stuff. Man, that was a great I mean, trip. Obviously, not everybody has the luxury not to feel that way. But taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. We found an old log. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Yeah, probably. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. I wonder if these. Check the map. All these things individually maybe trigger dialogue? Can't really get those in frame. Oh, birdie. Oh, it's. No, I want the bird. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Why do bucks always stand on top of these really epic places and look down at everything? <laughs> I know they don't really, it's just seem to depict them that way a lot in movies. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn up. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Gonna take a picture of her killing it? Now keep yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced, whenever you're ready. I'm guessing she'll fire as soon as I take the picture. Yep. Figure that one out. Shot, Don. Oh, God. <laughs> this is weirdly morbid and sad. Take a picture of that? I'm proud of you, Don. Weirdo. That, okay? I'm controlling him now. <laughs> Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's. That's totally so... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about it. Dad! Oh. Uh, there's karma for you. Ugh. <sighs> Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Well, I don't really believe in karma. I'm just saying it looks like it sometimes. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. It's like, in a moment, she's already feeling absolutely awful, and then that happens on top of it. Jesus. That is a creepy baby picture in there. Oh. It's a little less creepy than I thought from a little ways away. Once you can see the eyes, it's, it's a little less creepy, but it's, like, still pretty creepy. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Do we have to, like, watch kids getting killed? And... Oh. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Oh. That's, I guess, where we go next. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Hmm. 
Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. I think this baby has psychic powers? Seem to be able to move this frog and cause the duck to move. What are we doing? Oh, there we go. Hand over, Gregory. It's time to. Hold on, Susan. Frogs control ducks. I knew it. Yeah, pull it pull the frog back over. I wonder what he saw. This is fun. There we go. Now we can clone the ducks. Give more ducks. Add item instance number duck six nine. Oh. You reminded me so much of Oh, okay, we're gonna get a content ID match on that. Whoa! Damage boost frog. <laughs> this is silly. Whatever it was, he saw. Oh, am I supposed to get the frogs to hit into the handle? Or the frog, rather? Get the whale in. Yeah, get the whale in. Made him happy. Whoa! Where are all these new friends come from? They're diving in. No, I understand that. People that are too happy, I don't really understand them either. Feels like you're missing something. I know you did everything you could. Too happy, you're like, what do you think you're better than me? Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Oh, hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Wow, this is dark. This is really dark. dude how do you depict that in a game how did they come up with how to depict that i can't even imagine broaching that subject in a script and me like yeah well we'll just I guess come up with a way to kill a baby and show it i guess we'll just have to do that Oof. That is a, a bold artistic decision. My goodness. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, that's cool. Very cool Father effect. I'm controlling the kite, by the way. He couldn't tell. Just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Get the kite stuck in the wedding. What am I? What am I doing here? I feel like this text is stuck or something. What am I supposed to do? Letters on the left. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I missed that. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Oh. Shut up, Dad. I got a kite to fly, and it's super cool. The wind picked up. Panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, I think I get how this ends. <laughs> Just jam it into the ground. <laughs> there you go. The rain came down in buckets then, but Picking no up all the chairs. That nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. I think we all know how this goes. Shut up, Dad. I can play with a kite in the rain. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my wow. This was make the music louder. That is kind of cool. We picked up nearly everything. Oh shit. Including the tent. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <laughs> Greg, be a baby. <laughs> That's your only duty in this world. Be a baby. And you couldn't even handle that, Greg. <sighs> if it weren't for all this awful shit happening, this house would be so cool. Can they make another version that's like the What Remains of Edith Finch's Awesome Life where everybody is awesome and the house is just there and you can tour it for fun? Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta where she met my dad, 
Sanjay. Oh. Kept seeing his name. I didn't know where he was. 